Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to be going over an example of one of the templates we have called the Cost to Hire Calculator, and this and this one is one of the templates included in the latest bundle, uh, which is the Tackle Turnover Toolkit. So the Cost to Hire template is going to help you track and get a more accurate estimate of how much it's costing your company to continually recruit and hire and train new hires. And this kind of goes hand in hand with the turnover template because it's going to help you estimate your cost of turnover, which can also help you look at what can you do to improve retention and realize some cost savings with that. So let me show you what the cost to hire calculator can do. You'll see we have several tabs and pages at the bottom. Once you fill out the detailed information, you're going to get a monthly summary with all of your different expenses for recruitment, selection, onboarding, and training. You can get as detailed as you want as far as estimating training expenses and that sort of thing. And then you're also going to track your candidates reviewed and hired, and this is going to get you your final cost to hire per month and also the year to date total here at the bottom. Typically, it would be a lot higher than this, but I just have entered some sample information so that it will help us review it. Now, that's the monthly summary. We also have a more detailed summary that's going to break out your cost per these three categories, recruiting, selecting, and then your onboarding expenses. And we'll also total your annual cost total and per hire, and then your metrics per date range. So you can select, you know, if you want to do quarterly, you could do January through March and take a look at more specific date ranges for that. And then we'll also go over the time to hire averages where you can just fill out your open positions and kind of, it will calculate how many days it took to fill. So let me start with uh, the three different sections of hiring cost. So we have a different page for recruitment cost, selection cost, and then training costs that comes with hiring people to your team. And within each of these three main pages, you will have a section right here with some preset categories. You can change these categories and you can also add an additional categories of your own. It looks like about 20, a spot for 21 different categories per group. So looking at recruitment, we have different categories for advertising. So you can change this to suit your specific uh, venues that you advertise with. You could put, for example, Indeed. So that's the first part is knowing like which categories are you wanting to track within re recruitment. We have recruiting materials, outreach, job fair, fees and travel. You're paying a staffing agency or a recruiter outside the company. Are you giving employee referral award? And you could probably think of several other things to be added. And then with selection, we have pre-screening fees, phone interviews, cost of background checks, different testing, you may do personality testing and things like that. And then training, we put sign-on bonuses under training, relocation fees, direct or indirect training, because, you know, no one, they may not be starting and hitting the ground running right away. So, so these are all things you can estimate when it comes to figuring out how much your hires are costing. Okay, so actually entering information in column A is just for the category. You would, if you had specific one-off expenses related to these categories, you can enter it here to the right by just selecting, maybe I had a fee for a job fair. And so just enter the amount. You can also enter the date. You'll see it starts totaling over here. And Another sure with this is you can track the cost of staff related cost in order to calculate the cost of the staff hours. 
you would have to fill this out, their salary and name, or you could just write over their hourly. For now, let's say I'll put average, average recruit screener or recruiting, whatever you put here in cell A should be the one that populates in here. Okay, so I'm just saying the average screener is going to be at this hourly rate. And at the job fair, they spent eight hours at the job fair. So that's now getting added into the total cost for job fair fees because we're paying for the time as well. So you could continue adding the costs as they come up in any of these three sections. So different categories in each page. Same with same with adding the, let's see, they, maybe they do five hours worth of phone screen or something. And let me just do one more so we can have totals in the summary. So relocation fees, maybe it's different every time. As those things are filled out, you'll see it's now updating over here. Another thing you can do when you have expenses that are the same amount each month, say that we're paying the venue, the second venue for advertising, say that we're paying a monthly fee of $20. We would come to the standard annual cost page. And in here, you'll see we still have the three different sections. So we have recruiting, interview and selection and onboarding. And maybe let's say we're for interviewing and selection, we're paying a company to do our background checks and it's a monthly fee. So you can enter the annual amount or the monthly amount. So this will calculate for you, say it's 2000 a year, it comes to um, 166 a month, or if you don't have the annual amount and you just know you're paying 25 a month, you just type over that formula. That's just to help make it easier. So you'll see it kind of um, just populates through into all 12 months, and that also gives you the annual total. So I'm gonna say that one is for pre-screening fees. And so what this does is you can also change the effective date. So say I was subscribed to something that was 25 a month and now it increased to uh, 35. Then I'll just enter the new rate and the date it was effective. Say it was in June. And then now you'll see it went from 25 to 35 in June. So it's still tracking out for each month. So you can do that with any of the three categories. And again, just based on the subcategories that you entered in the page. Now you'll see that in selection cost page. So since I added background check and pre-screening um, in the standard page, it's also going to appear now over here. So background check is now showing annual 2000 and 370 under my total annual cost. So it's going to combine this grand total here is combining expenses that you entered here as well as expenses that you're entering on the page itself. So I hope that helps helps us tracking your expenses related to hiring. And it's good to track things over time just to get a ballpark and also see how you can make improvements. And the final page that's really great on this template is the time to hire averages. So I've filled out some sample data here. Just You just enter the open position. You can put the department and the date the job was open and then the date that it was filled. And it's going to calculate the days to fill each position and then we're also going to show an average here at the top. So right now it's showing four positions open, three are filled, so one is left open, the specialist. So I hadn't even entered a date, but say we opened this back in March and say we filled it today or May 3rd. Now it's going to show that we have four positions and four filled, and it's updated my average days to fill. So I will link to the bundle that this template is part of. The Tackle Turnover Toolkit, uh, when you get the bundle, you also get the turnover report template, and then you also get a resignation proof roadmap, and that's going to help you come up with ideas to improve improve the turnover rates. And there's also some other bonuses included in here if you get the bundle. If you want to get that, I will link to it. Or you can also get the template, just the cost to hire template on its own by going to timesavingtemplates.com 
go to shop in human resources and you'll find the cost to hire calculator template here. So I hope that helps. And until next time, don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets in your HR department, your small business. And, uh, also we do have some free resources you can find at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. And we have some compensation metrics cheat sheet, as well as, uh, some other free resources to help you get started with using Excel. Thank you again. If you enjoyed, please like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.